Hey guys, welcome to this quick video where we are going to be taking a look at all of the combat related power burst potions. These potions were added to the game with the 120 herb lore as well as farming update that came out this past Monday. And I've spent pretty much this entire week testing out these potions in as many possible PVM scenarios as I could. So I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on these potions. I'll let you know if they're worth it and it should be a pretty quick video. So let's get right into it. The first power burst we're going to talk about is the power burst potion of vitality. What this potion does is for six seconds, it's gonna double your current life points as well as your max life points. When the six seconds ends, your maximum life points and current life points are gonna be chopped in half. This potion is actually quite interesting. You'll see me right here tanking a so much power at 999% in Rage Telos with no defensive abilities without even sweating it. This made it extremely easy, but there's still a caveat to it. Any power burst potion you drink is gonna put your adrenaline potion on cooldown. If you're going for a fast phase 4 rotation, your APOT will already be on cooldown before this point, so you would not be able to power burst. So specifically at Telos, it's not a great fallback plan, it's more something that you actually need to plan for and use. At the same time, for tanking something like a so much power, there are a lot of better options. You could use a disruption shield, you could use a devotion and then a resonance, or you could even use a shield dome, which will not raise your maximum HP, but it will have the damage you take, effectively accomplishing the same goal. I also tried some stuff at 1000% in Rage Telos where I would tank a bunch of rocks with a power burst and although it was a lot of fun, it wasn't something that I would see being particularly useful. One interesting thing is if you sign while the power burst is active, it will actually put you on 12,000 life points instead of the usual 6,000, which is kind of interesting, although when the power burst wears off, it'll drop back down to 6,000 regardless. This potion is not particularly needed anywhere, although if you really want to find ways to use it, you can. They're not going to be meta or efficient, but they can be quite fun. So it's definitely there for that, and it's more going to be used as a casual thing than something that's going to make it into the high-end PVM, you know, proper ways of doing things or most effective ways of doing things. Still, if you're looking for a good time or looking for a fun time, this potion is quite cool, and it is always awesome getting up to a maximum of 32,000 life points in a PVM setting. The biggest drawback of this power burst is that it puts your adrenaline potion on cooldown, and if it didn't do this, I could see myself bringing it to a lot of boss fights. In the current stance, there's only one place where I would bring this potion. That is Duo Angel of Death. When you're duoing Angel of Death, one person is tanking the boss and the other person tanks all the minions. The person tanking the main boss can't use any defensive abilities as they get reset every time the boss hits you. Because of this, being able to take that power burst potion to solo tank the pools that hit 14,000 damage is extremely helpful. In this one instance, this was the best way to get through this mechanic, in my opinion. Now, you're probably wondering, does this tank the KK green? The answer is yes it does, but not in the most effective way possible. What I mean by that is, in order for it to tank the KK green, you actually have to set it up the same way as you would if you were going to resonance the hit. Because you get stunned and it only lasts for 6 seconds, you can't drink it before the green attack. Your stats will get lowered again. So you literally have to do the same method that you would do in your solo in Calphite King, where you have to time a freedom and then time a blade to dive away. And then at the point where I drank the power burst and tanked this hit, I literally could have used the resonance ability and it just would have healed me to full. So. Not critical, not useful, but I guess it was fun? The next potion we're going to look at is the Power Burst of Acceleration. This thing is so cool. While under the effects of this Power Burst, you can surge and blade a dive infinitely. As fast as you can press it, it will go off. Because of this, in 6 seconds, you can cover an absolutely insane amount of distance. This is an item that I think will be used quite frequently by people hunting clues, although as for PVM applications, there aren't really too many. It's just not worth putting your adrenaline potion on cooldown for a tiny bit of mobility. That being said, I had a ton of fun racing my friends around Gilinor, and the meme potential on this one is off the charts. The next power burst we're going to talk about is the power burst of feats. This allows your familiar to spec without draining any summoning points for 6 seconds. Now, you might be thinking, why don't I just drink a summoning flask? Doesn't that do kind of the same thing? And you would be correct. This potion literally does nothing different than a summoning potion, other than that it puts your adrenaline potion on cooldown. So this potion in the current game does not have a single use anywhere, not even niche. It has no uses. I don't honestly know why it was made or, or why it was designed. I'm hoping maybe for some future update, but as of right now, this thing does not do anything. The final Power Burst Potion we're going to talk about is the Power Burst Potion of Overkill. This potion is extremely interesting. When consumed, this potion is going to give you 4% adrenaline per game tick for 10 ticks. This will, once again, like the other potions, put your adrenaline potion on cooldown, but that kind of makes sense because this actually does give you adrenaline. This item is very cool, and I could actually see it being used in a number of PVM scenarios, depending on what happens with the price. 
I found it extremely powerful in a lot of berserk rotations, and it was also good in my sunshine. One other really cool use for this thing is you could drink it before you had enough adrenaline to get to an ultimate ability like a sunshine. You could sunshine right away, and then it would continue to give you adrenaline after you'd sunned. So unlike an adrenaline potion that happens all at once, you can use this before you're at an ultimate, alt, and still get a bit of extra adrenaline on the other side. Overall, this potion could be very useful, and I definitely want to play around with it more. It's something that I'm going to be bringing in my PVM scenarios. One slight negative to it is it can't currently be decanted into a flask, so you're stuck with a 4-dose. But other than that, this is the only Power Burst potion that I would actually say is worth using in a general PVM situation. It's pretty good. So overall, I was a little underwhelmed with the Power Bursts. For, for most of them in a high-level PVM situation, they just aren't worth it because they put your Adrenaline Potion on cooldown, which means you'd be losing DPS for something that is relatively arbitrary. That being said, I actually had a lot of fun playing around with them, and they do have high potential. So anyway guys, let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this super quick review of the Power Burst Potions, and outside of that, I will catch you in the next one.